and you're on. What, what up? up? <laughs> I had a feeling Good that morning, coming. Mojave County. <laughs> this is Jansen Viegas on The Jansen Show, and I am here with Jordan Phillips with Cooking with Charlie's Mom. Um, you know, wanted to bring her on because everybody in town's been talking about her cooking channel, her TikTok, and uh, I myself have done a few recipes, and I like to eat a lot. So, uh, you know, wanted to bring you on. Thank you for coming on, and, uh, you know, kind of talk about how you got into cooking, you yeah, know? Yeah, thanks for having me. This is super exciting. I love this little setup you guys got going on here. Yeah, it played out. One yeah. thing led to another. Joey de donated a desk. He brought the green screen. Yeah. Now we're outside here at the Finley Hughes Car Center on a windy day. On a windy day. My hair is blowing a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> we're going to pull this off just fine. <laughs> so how do you get into cooking? I mean, how long have you been cooking now? So honestly, I started cooking when I was pregnant with my daughter, Charlie. Makes sense. Yeah, no I, choice. Yeah. I did. <laughs> and I started craving really good home cooked meals because I got sick the first four times we went out to eat. Mm -hmm. Um, that was the only times I ever got sick. So then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start doing home cooked meals mm -hmm. and learn. And it would take me hours to learn a recipe in the kitchen. And I was like, there has to be an easier way to bake up a recipe mm -hmm. and follow it. And so I started diving into cooking. Next thing you know, I started kind of becoming the chef of the family. Uh, they would always have me cook. When you started being the best cook. Yeah. Yes. And so then, um, I think it was in 2018, it was right before I met my husband, um, I just kind of wanted to start a social media page. Absolutely. My mom and dad talked me into it and they were like, go ahead. I'm like, well, what would I call it? And my mom was like, cooking with Charlie's mom. Or maybe it was my dad that said that. One of them said that. And I was like, oh, that's a good Let's idea. You know. So I put that up and then I started doing lives on Facebook at first. My videos, if you were to go back, they were so long, like 30 minute videos. Oh, I get paranoid too sometimes when yeah. I make long videos. Well, because I didn't know how to edit yet. Mm -hmm. So I would just like cook the whole time. And then I would do, um, I don't know. I just, I didn't get into the shortening of the clips yet. And right. then I started kind of diving into other things. When TikTok came out during COVID, that's whenever I started getting on TikTok. And I had posted my meatloaf recipe and blew up like got 4.2 million really yeah views wow. on my and that's what blew me up on tiktok i have yeah. 133,000 followers on tiktok that was your Go first follow video that's um dope. i think it was my second it probably was my second video because okay. i kind of i joined tiktok because my mom was doing it and she was going crazy because of the r bar <laughs> and so she's like you need to get on this app so I'm like, okay. So I get on it and I started doing funny videos at first. And then she was like, no, you need to start doing cooking videos. Like figure out a way to do a cooking video. And so there was one day I was like, okay, I'm craving meatloaf. I'm going to make meatloaf. And I know meatloaf's not super popular, but I'm Sounds doing dope. it. Sounds dope. And I, I did it and it took off. Like. I'm petty. I'm going to go home and make a meatloaf TikTok <laughs> right when I get home. Can we show that meatloaf video? Yes. I think yeah. I got it. Let me yeah. see. You got it. It's not playing. Is this yeah. it? Grab yes. It's coming on. It'll One be on. Cut. There Fresh you go. Fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Cool. Don't buy the fake shit. Half the yellow <laughs> Five cloves of garlic. Melt down two tablespoons of butter. Add yellow onion. Add garlic. Add mixture oh, to the bowl. Chop parsley. Mm -hmm. One cup. Parsley. Two tablespoons. It's such a good meatloaf. It so looks good already. It's <laughs> like, I was <laughs> never a big Table fan of meatloaf, and this is paste. bomb. Garlic salt. Fresh yeah, that looks dope. Peppercorn. Onion powder. So people can learn how to cook watching you. Yeah. That's what's cool. Mm -hmm. What are your videos usually range between like Bacon one and two minutes? 40 minutes. Let's it, the sauce. One minute. Brown oh. sugar. Sometimes they're 30 seconds. One this one's more kind of in detailed because there's so much going on yeah. with the recipe and then you have to make the sauce and bake it off and then pour the sauce. Cool. Bake for 15 yeah. minutes. And there it is. We'll go ahead. That's so dank. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. Can you put a link to her? Uh, TikTok yeah, we'll get a link up to her. Um, actually, I, in the description, I put her name on there, and they can just go to either TikTok or Instagram yeah. and, and look at your name up. Yeah. That'll, cool. that'll work that way. So yeah. it was a 4.2 million view meatloaf. Yes. Wow. That's quite impressive. Yep. I think yeah, it is. The only little meatloaf that I've seen is that uh, show on uh, 
Cartoon Network, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force with the little meatball guy. I don't think I've oh, seen yeah. that. It's like 11.30 at night. I should have been asleep. Oh. <laughs> I was a kid. Yeah, honestly, I was just kind of having fun. Like, I was home by myself, and I think that's when I get the most creative because no one's watching me, and so I can kind of be silly, and I just, like, put my camera on, and Heck I'll yeah. say stupid stuff, and then I'll go back when I'm editing it, and I'll plug stuff in, and I'll be like, okay, that kind of sounds funny, and so, <laughs> yeah, it's been working i guess <laughs> so something i wanted to touch on is that amazing island that your husband uh dylan dylan phillips yes. made you so shout out dylan that thing was super awesome super nice gesture yeah how did that unfold so he's been wanting to build me an island in my kitchen for a really long time because um my kitchen's pretty open and mm -hmm. i always use this one part of my kitchen to do my videos and cook and he's like we need an island for you like mm -hmm. so he surprised me on christmas he um, used his brother's, um, Lucas, his shop down in Needles, and he built up the, the aluminum. Yeah, it's all out of aluminum. Wow. And then he went and bought the cutting board down at Lowe's. It's just like a big slab, and he cut it. And then he reached out to Austin, who does um, AR Creations. Absolutely. <clears throat> I've seen all their work. Shout yeah. out, Austin. Yeah, Austin and Lorianne. And they actually carved out my cooking with charlie's mom and then in my videos now to open them up i always what say up? what up yeah <laughs> <laughs> what up <laughs> i had to do it <laughs> yeah so i always say that so then he put that on the side and i was just like oh my gosh so Did you it, cry? i cried yeah because oh, yeah. i was not expecting it no you that's know? super thoughtful yeah i was just like holy crap and the fact that he made it and like he my husband is my biggest supporter like Absolutely. he I don't, I don't want to get emotional, but <laughs> he's just, always been there. I That's love so him good. so much. He's like my rock. Like he just, he, when I start doubting myself, he picks me back up and he's like, you can do it. And I'm a stay at home mom now. Yeah. I was a hospice nurse for three years. Okay. And so I would go see my patients and then I'd come home and I would make videos and I would try to grow my following, wow. you know? And finally it kind of came down to where him and I discussed it and he was like, well, why don't we just give this a shot right. and see what it can become? Stay home, yeah. like focus on your cooking page. And I think that says a lot in a spouse because he is completely behind me and he completely backs me and he watches all my videos He'll watch every single story that I post. Like he is, even if I'm right there and I and I make the video, he'll hear, hear me in the kitchen, and then he still watches oh, it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> What's his name? Dylan. 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 Okay. Shout yeah. out to Dylan. Shout out Dylan. Yeah, yeah. for sure. It's a, yeah. it's a good example. Yeah, I got my uh, girlfriend's shoes and roses, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> he has an engraved island. Yeah. <laughs> he got beat on that one. Yeah. No, that's super amazing. Um, so tell us about uh, Charlie. So Charlie's my daughter. Which actually we're a blended family. So there's Jade and Charlie. Jade and Charlie. Jade and Charlie. Cool. Jade is Dylan's and then Charlie is mine. And she's my little firecracker. And she she actually likes actually whenever she was a baby, um, I made all her own baby food. Mm -hmm. And so she is not a picky eater at Good. all. Like she will eat anything and everything. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I made her own baby food. Right. You know, like yeah. I had a steamer. I steamed the sweet potatoes. I seasoned it with my seasoning so she's familiar with all that stuff. So, you know? like, at my house, because my little boy is a very picky eater, and he pretty much only eats what he's been eating, which is fruits mm -hmm. and, uh, like, two vegetables, and he won't really entertain anything else. Do yeah. you have any advice for me? Yes. So, <laughs> Jade is our little picky eater. She does not like any meat. She likes junk food. Like, she's getting a lot better now, though. And what I learned is I try to get her involved in the kitchen with me like when I'm making oh, dinner okay. she likes to help me and I try to tell her like oh look we made dinner together right. you know and that gets her more excited and then when it comes time to plating because Jade's six Charlie's eight and I let them make their own plates or I let them tell me like hey do you want asparagus tonight it's this yeah and okay. so they don't have to eat everything that I make but they need I have a few things where I'm like no you need to eat this I know you like it but if they try something and they don't like it, I don't force it right. on them. Like Let's I, show them because I they're talking about them. We got to see what they look like. Oh cool. uh, yeah, I got I got a little video. Let's let's check them out. Okay. Yeah. What? Wow. Let's what go. Grocery shopping. Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Pink. 
Hot cocoa. Cheers. Yum yum. My fave. Does show signs of stopping. Oh, they're cute. Wee. <laughs> Now I'm going to the fruit section. Nom nom. Ooh, that's a fat one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always singing. But if you Favorite brown rat. Yummy. All the way home I'll be walking. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta cool. love it. You and they love, love it. they love going grocery shopping with me too. They so that's the thing. Always get them involved for everything. Yeah. And I kind of, I mean, nobody has the right thing on how to parent like right. but i try my hardest to let them express themselves mm -hmm. and like to a certain extent right, like they're not going to be disrespectful you know but they have their own likes and their own dislikes and if you get them involved with grocery shopping like they love artichokes right so anytime we go to the grocery store they're helping pick out fruits and veggies and That's cool. you know and then i will ask them because we do week on week off mm -hmm. with our kids um, so we'll have them for a week and then they go to their other parents house for a week. So the weeks that I have them, I try to ask them like, Hey, what do you want for dinner tonight? You want chicken or you want salmon? And then they'll say, Oh, I want chicken. Or I like, they both love salmon. That's awesome. So then I'll end up making that or whatever. Around you know? what they prefer depending yeah. on. Yeah. Cause it's hard when they're kids, like they look at something and like my meatloaf, perfect example. They, <laughs> I had Jade, I was like, Jade here you're eating this <laughs> that looks disgusting that's oh, what she said God. and i was like jade it's bomb. i'm like i'm telling you you're gonna like it she tried it ate the entire plate cool. loved it and i was just like see all you have to do is try it if you 4. just 2 try million it views, it's pretty good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i know yeah. so yeah i mean if get them involved i'm gonna have mason uh Hey, put the thermometer in the oil, please. Yeah. 350 degrees. <laughs> don't no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep That's them away cool. from hot stuff. <laughs> so for the most part, it sounds like, you know, positivity, good energy. I mean, yeah. you, you're vibrant with it. Yes. Um, you also work out over here at Heat Wave yes. CrossFit. How long CrossFit. you been working out there with Mitch? So I started there in August, I think. Pretty sure it was August. And I honestly started going like on Saturdays that was it I just started going a couple days a week because I was intimidated by it right. honestly so and I used to be a gymnast I used to do dance like oh, so cool. I have a lot of upper body strength but I was intimidated because I'm thinking I'm gonna go in here and these people are gonna know like what to do and right. I'm gonna have no idea Look at those muscles oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she's big oh. she's got the muscles going <laughs> yeah <laughs> so hard work and honestly Mitch and his team over there I cannot say anything more positive about oh, them. Like he's gangster. They are also motivating and like they push you and they help you and they teach you and they're not you'd walk in there and they're not judging you. No. They're not like, Oh, she doesn't know how to do a push press, like you yeah, know. Honestly yeah. for like probably like two years now, Mitch has you know, he's followed up with me in the sense of like, you know, hey, how's that water in? Because I told him I was trying to you know get healthy and i always do this where i'm oh two weeks strong and then boom <laughs> yeah and because we're neighbors every yeah. time we have our little neighbor exchange he'll uh, he'll ask me you know hey how's that water intake you know yeah. how's the exercise going you know come on man you know yeah. so he's always making sure to uh you know promote the positivity yes. and the healthy lifestyle and i mean that's key to life really yeah you only have your body yeah and i think he takes a lot of pride in that and even abby and alex like they're the same like I normally try to go to the 6 a.m. class on the weeks that I don't have my kids because I just like getting up in the morning, getting my workout done and over with, and right. then I have the rest of my day. But on the days that I have my kids, sometimes they like to go to the box with me, so mm. sometimes I'll get them up before the school. Box. cool. Yeah, and take them, and they love it, and I think it's a very positive thing because they're seeing me being disciplined with something like working out and it makes them want to do it. And yeah. It makes them, you know, my daughter, Charlie, she's a gymnast. So she, I take her to Kingman cool. two days a week for gymnastics up there and she's on team. So she'll even go jump on the bar and do like toe touches and really? like work out while I, I'm working out. I think it's crazy. Uh, like, cause gymnasts are, I mean, you're, you gotta have courage yeah. to be a gymnast yeah. you know like yeah. i barely did backflips off the dock mm -hmm. you know you guys are like yeah and she dominates her her cup 
past couple events that she's done, she's gotten overall gymnast and first place. I like the word dominate. Yeah, she, she does. dominates. She's good. That's cool. She's strong too. So we got a little interaction here. Uh, we yeah. have a gentleman who wants to know who is your favorite nephew. Guess who it could be? Oh God, oh. Destry. <laughs> <laughs> Destry, shout out Destry. Yeah, no, yeah. Destry is really cool. Yeah, he's he's actually does his videography stuff. He's so good at it. Have you seen? Oh seen yeah, his stuff? I had yeah. him on here actually, and. Uh, we always talk about sparring and stuff because he likes to box and I have a gym at my house that yeah. I just look at and take pictures next to. So yeah, yeah it's hard know, not to because he works cool. at Finley. So we see most of it. Oh, yeah. Does, yeah. 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 He's always like when we did the uh, boombox parade, he yeah. was doing the recording and stuff. Yeah. So the drone cool. videos. I know yeah. he was supposed to do mine and my husband's wedding. Like he had just started really getting into videography and stuff. And we we're like, hey, do you want to do our wedding? And Violet Phillips was our photographer, okay. which she's an amazing photographer in town for anybody that wants a Violet good photographer. Phillips. Shout out to Violet. Violet Phillips. She's amazing. Um, and Destry was going to do our videography and he came down with COVID. Mm. And I was like, oh man. Destry. But if what you see <laughs> his work now, he d he's done weddings he does every and he does such an amazing oh, yeah. job like he's so good at it he i've seen does. him he's a really uh he's a g yeah i say gangster to everything yeah but in general do you like um any specific meals that are like a go-to at home something that you do quickly or is it always something different uh it's kind of always something different that's good <laughs> and my husband kind of gets annoyed <laughs> with it sometimes really not super annoyed but he likes he'll be like what happened to that one dish you used to make? And it was so good because I feel like with my cooking page, I always have to be uploading new right. recipes. So I'm always stepping out of the box. And I'm like, so I might make a recipe that's bomb and then I won't have it for months, like, you know? Oh yeah. But then he Nostalgia. likes it. Yeah. But then he likes it. And I'll ask him, hey, what do you want for dinner tonight? He'll be like, hold on, let me go on your page. And he'll go through my page. <laughs> <In the menu. laughs> yeah. And he'll look. And then That's he'll be cool. like, oh, he really, his, one of his favorite dishes is the um, chicken thighs with my Parmesan cream sauce Ooh, and Brussels yum. sprouts. That is one of his like go tos. Um, the steak sandwiches he's obsessed with with the sweet potatoes. Right. So the steak sandwiches are super easy to make. It and looks so good. Delicious. Too. <laughs> like, yeah, mouth watering. Got another chat here. Go ahead and read it. Debbie Court, love you, Jordan. You look beautiful. Proud of you. <laughs> XO, you got all your XO, friends XO. tuning in. Thanks, hey, mom. <laughs> family is the family best friends support for everything. Supporters. Absolutely. Actually, my mom was the one that came up with Charlie Grace's name. Shout out to yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Charlie Grace. Charlie, I like that. yeah. She, That's great. So I've always wanted, when I had kids, I've always wanted to call them by their first and middle name because when I was growing up, I did the Cinderella pageants. Cool. And we'd go to internationals. And all the ladies from the South would call their little girls by their first and middle name, like Bailey Sue, oh, you know, okay. and I, all, I was always obsessed with it. So I said, OK, if I have a little girl, I want to call her by her first and middle name. Charlie Grace. Yeah. That's super nice. So my mom came up with the That's name awesome. Charlie. And then actually Ch Charlie's dad, Matt. Um, his Nana came up with taking, cause I was going to spell Charlie's name C H A R L I E. And I was telling his Nana and she said, well, why do you have the E on the end of it? And I'm like, I don't know. And she wanted the like, E Charlie. Yeah. She's like, if you take the E off, it makes it more feminine. So it's just C H A R L I. Gotcha. So that's cool. how you spell Charlie's name. So yeah, that's her name kind of came together like with everybody, you know, mine is. Jansen, Armando, Viega, Sanchez, De La Hoya, Pacquiao Jr., the third. <laughs> so, you know. Don't try to say it twice, but yeah. It's on my driver's license, so it's how it plays out. That's a mouthful. Yeah, Definitely. it sucks whenever I go to my credit union. Oh, gosh. They're like, oh, just give us your social, please. Yeah. We're good. We'll just look Forget you up that the name. Way. Yeah. What's your date of birth? <laughs> yeah, seriously. You have a workout video that I watched that I want people to see, too, because okay. I, was, I was impressed on how much weight was on it and, oh, yeah. and what you did with it. So let's roll that video. You can talk about about it while we show it but okay i want to be in a video yeah this is a cool one this is definitely cool we're waiting it's coming <laughs> oh yeah yeah up, come like, on. Whoa. oh shit dip drive come on and then you have the coach in the what? background yes. what the heck? that's dope yeah that's now whoa. that's some weight yeah <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm not gonna lie, that's some weight right there. You know what's funny is I I don't I can't even remember how much I think that might have been 105 pounds maybe I can't remember. It looks heavy, I know yeah. that. Yeah. Well, Mitch, 
bless Mitch, he pushed me to get that because I had done, I went to go do it and I dropped it and I was like, nope, can't do it. And he goes, no, yeah, you can. And he wow. comes over wow. and he pushed me to do it. And that's why I got that. Or else I would have just given up. You would have just so thrown yeah. it. You walk in there, the whole vibe is just like, let's do better. Let's be better. Let's yes. do better. That's cool. Yeah. And everyone's cheering you on. And even when you finish, like so many people that are obviously in better shape mm -hmm. finished before you, but they stay around and they root you on and they're like, come on, you can do it. Like, so when you start getting depleted, honestly, you get the energy from that them. Morale right. is big. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Melody yeah. Phillips said, I love that I get to call you my daughter-in-law. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, You got Melody. the whole family in here. <laughs> you might, they must have saw your video. <laughs> they must have, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's so cute. Melody's amazing. She is actually an amazing baker. She's like oh. our go-to. She makes cheesecake, oh, wow. chocolate chip cookies. She makes these oatmeal bars. Like, I wish I could be half the baker that she is. That's honestly what's bomb. making me get more into baking. Because yeah, I'm not was, a good baker. I like. I wouldn't mind learning how to bake. It's I like hard. to cook. It's at totally home different than cooking, for oh, sure. Yeah, totally. it's like a different yes. monster. Right? Oh yeah, big time. You have to. You be can burn so, things so easy. <laughs> yeah, and you have to be so precise <laughs> right. with every measurement. Timing, like, measuring, everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know for about sure. that. For sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like right now. I have the project of making soup dumplings because I keep Ooh. seeing them on the internet. Yes. And I'm like, I want to make those really bad because <laughs> mm -hmm. I made my sister scallops probably like four weeks ago because she just had a baby mm -hmm. so i was like well i gotta thank you for you know blessing me with a niece yeah i made her a ribeye with scallops and Ooh, so bomb, yum yeah. that sounds good it, it does dope. sound really i'm good. actually trying to think of what a good valentine's day dinner is gonna be because dylan and i were just talking about that the other night and i don't like going out to eat right. for valentine's day because it's just way too what up Let's and it lands on a monday so i was asking dylan i'm like what do you want to do for valentine's day he's like do you want to go out i'm like it's a monday yeah, i don't want to I, can I just cook you something? He's like, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> so Check I'm the trying menu. To, yeah, I'm like trying to think of a good fancy dinner to have. Fancy I always date YouTube night. it. Like I will describe what I want to do on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> fancy dinners are easy videos for cooking romantic dinners. Yeah. See, yeah. that's one thing I need to get into is YouTube. I, sh I don't have you. I mean, I had it. But I suck with technology. Oh, like through social media? Yes. Oh, yeah. Because I've heard that people with, like, that's one thing. TikTok and Instagram, you can have shorter videos, easier clips to follow. So it's not like, so people that know how to cook can watch that right. and be like, oh, I know what she's doing. But people that struggle with cooking, it might be too fast paced for them, you know? And yeah. so if you have a YouTube page, you can go more in depth with your video oh, and right. go longer videos and people can watch you step by step do the recipe that's or how make i make it. all my recipes whenever i cook i literally will watch a youtube video and pause yeah <laughs> yeah that's right pause like i made a eggs benedict <laughs> yeah. which was too much lemon and then the consistency in the actual it's hard. hollandaise sauce or mm, whatever that yeah. was really hard but it was yeah. fun to do because mm -hmm. i screwed up an egg three times when you poach them yes <laughs> so i was like it this happens. is fun though yeah so i was watching and trying to mimic and uh so I, I think youtube would probably be a really good platform for you yeah i did learn i forget i think maybe it was from mike merrigan maybe he told me this but when you're making your um hollandaise sauce if it goes to break when you're whisking it, he said to put a little bit of cold water in there. Just dump a tiny oh, bit see. and keep going and it'll make it smooth. Because Mike used to, he used, he loves to cook. Mike really? does. And he's he, a good cook. And So many cooks. We're going to try to get Mike Underground on the show. cooks. We should yeah. have like a. Because he does a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> he, I love cooking with him. When yeah. he's when, And he's so precise with everything. Like he has his own little method and wow. he's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. So question that I have for you, mm -hmm. what is the cleanup process like when it comes to cooking? Do you clean as you go or are you like dishes at the end? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. That's a great question. Because I'd be, <laughs> I be trying to figure it out and I'm like, oh man. Waste of time. A bunch of dishes in the sink now. <laughs> no. So here's the deal. So my husband, when I was working and I would cook dinner, we had this routine where I would cook dinner and he would do dishes. Mm -hmm. And it was just our thing. That it was works. like a cycle. Yeah. So right. we were both pitching in because we were both working. Well, now I'm a stay at home mom. So I look at it like it's my job to keep the house clean. Right. And he goes off and works all day. Right. 
I am not the most organized person. I do not clean as I go. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at it. But he is very, okay, my husband's very organized. And he walks into the kitchen when I'm cooking. And he about has a heart attack. Because oh, he's wow. like, <laughs> I don't doing? even know what is going on. And, like, I'll be making something on the stovetop. And it splashes. And it's spilling everywhere. And he's like, how are you making a, this much of a mess? I'm like, chef, babe. I'm yeah. chef. I'm like, it's easy. Watch. I'm an artist. Do you watch Food yes. Network, bro? <laughs> this is what we do. I don't have time to think. I just go with the flow. And then I end up cleaning up right. afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, I always, that's what I end up doing. Or like, yeah, I can't clean as I go. Actually. Yeah. I feel like I'm supposed to be focused. Yes. But I guess that's why like, um, what was the name again? Excuse me, Mr. Merrigan? Yes. So Mike. that's probably what he does is have everything so set up yes. that- He's done at the end. Yeah. And he's know. very efficient with that. Like Mike's good at that. But I don't know. I also feel like if there's, it depends on what dish I'm making. Right. Like if there's a dish that I'm, if I'm doing a stuffed chicken dish, I'll pop it in the oven. I know it has 32 minutes to cook. I have plenty of time to clean up my kitchen while it's baking in the oven, you know? Yeah. But if I'm doing a lot of stuff on the stovetop that I have to watch, I don't really worry about it until the end. Because it's then, annoying. Yeah. I just try not to make it to where things get hard. Yes. Because then it's super annoying to clean up. So yeah. I'll rinse and stuff, but I'm not trying to like wash and stuff. Yeah, definitely. What do you think is one of the more challenging dishes that you've made? Hmm, that's a good question. Is it soup? No? Soup? Because you made a chicken tortilla soup that I oh I that's loved. so I love easy that soup. oh it's easy. I showed him your page easy. and he's like oh yeah. this is uh, dope. I was going through that page going mm, I'm on that I, yeah. I want to learn how to make that yeah, yeah absolutely that <laughs> one's like I mean you don't even you could just get a rotisserie chicken from Safeway and shred it all up I do chicken breasts and shred them up myself but right. it's like if you're looking for a quick recipe to have. When you get home and you don't want to spend an hour in the kitchen making it, that soup is a go-to one. Like, and it's so good. Oh, it looks bomb. It's so good. So organic is something that you try to prioritize, yes. right? Yeah. So um, in high school, I used to stay away from chicken. Chicken grossed me out because I was into a bunch of food documentaries. I watched oh, out. Wow. Like, I've, so since then, you've been yes, pretty on it. Yes, and I just don't – it grosses me out, honestly. Right. Like the way – certain meats like factory farming is really disgusting and i know how people and it's expensive that's the thing that sucks about it because i'll go and get the free range chicken breasts and for two chicken breasts it's like 11 12 dollars yeah. yeah and, and it's getting worse it's getting so worse <laughs> yes yeah. and i'm just like oh my gosh but then i go and look at a big pack of chicken and it's like eight dollars yep but if you hold up the chicken in your hand the one that's eight dollars these chicken breasts are gigantic right, right they're pumped with a bunch of stuff and actually i learned this the other day i follow um this girl her name's um, I think it's Ballerina Farm um, on Instagram, but she has her own farm, her own ranch and okay. down in Utah. And Very she nice. was showing um, chicken breasts. And she had said that if you get a chicken breast and there's like white lines in it, thin white lines in it, that means that the chicken was overfed and grew way too much mm. and oh, pumped wow. up the breast to like pump it up so that they could kill it. And, you know, yeah. and it's almost like, whenever you're you go from being really skinny and all of a sudden you start gaining a bunch of weight and you get stretch marks mm -hmm. that's what they okay. compared it to i gotcha yeah so and you can see it if you go to safeway some of the chicken you can see it yeah and i feel now, a little now guilty I know how to shop for chicken well yeah i feel guilty because i'll sit there and i'm like organic bro organic and then i almost have to like justify my purchase and say yeah it's not like you take care of your body in any other way oh gosh <laughs> no, like, just get the chicken bro yeah you <laughs> can start it. somewhere honestly eventually we live down in needles and we live on a pretty big property mm -hmm. and eventually my husband is planning on building me a garden right. so i want to start gardening i want my own chickens i Grow want your own food yes i want so cool. all of that so yeah so we're gonna hopefully do that and See how really that cool. works out. It will for work us. out. Get <laughs> yeah. fresh eggs. Yeah. My buddy here got like a fresh cart of eggs not too long ago from a customer. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, yeah organic, fresh. I mean, it all makes sense, you know. Um, and I think it's crazy how they go about making it super hard to buy organic as opposed to yeah. the injected stuff. Yeah. And like that's the sad. It's very sad. Like the to try and be healthier, 
you have to spend more money. Like right. if you want to go work out and make sure you're eating clean and getting the right nutrients for your body, it's more expensive than going to McDonald's and getting a dollar cheeseburger to feed your family. Like, mm, right. and that's really sad, you know? Do you stay away from that food completely or is it more no. like I'm conscious that I don't want that type of food? Yes, I'm conscious about it. I am not like... I like food. Right. I love a cheese. Five Guys, my go-to. In and Out, my go-to. So <laughs> oh, if I love In and Out. Tommy's. I've never been to Tommy's. Oh man, Me neither. Is it Tommy's good? Tommy's is bomb. Oh, I'll have to try that. Where's Tommy's? Barstow. From? Oh, Tommy's but... Chili Burger, man, you gotta try one. I'll fun. have to try that. Oh yeah, you can only eat one a week. If you're lucky. Oh, uh, why does it mess your stomach up? <laughs> yeah, chili, oh, you gosh. know how chili does. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say I'm like this crazy health nut. Like right. I still live. I still eat barbecue chicken pizza. I, I just try to make healthier choices. And I try to challenge myself to eat as clean as I can during the week. And then on the weekends, if my husband and I want to go somewhere for dinner, we'll splurge, you right. know, and we'll kind of, oh, want to get that cheeseburger? want to get this. And I think that's how you have to live life. Like you Absolutely. can't. It's not about dieting. You Moderation, can't, yeah. everything. Yeah, you can't right. restrict yourself from the foods that you like or else what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up giving up on it completely and just reverting back to your old ways. It's almost like you're brainwashed. Like, personally, I feel like I am brainwashed to eat a certain way. And, yeah. And that's how I eat, you know? But you know what's funny is as soon as you make that switch – and as soon as you start eating healthier, you'll notice your body and the way that you feel and the energy that you have. And you're not sluggish later on in right. the day. And then you start craving you're that. Like, I can't give this Yeah. Up. And then you go and eat this. something bad and it makes you feel like crap. And you're like, and you're mad. Oh. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> man, I feel you're like mad crap. mean again. <laughs> you, have yeah. an, you have another request here. Good job, Chicky. Jordan, you should announce to everyone who your favorite brother is. <laughs> that must be him. That's my brother, Casey. Casey. <laughs> Shout out, Casey. Shout out to Casey. Shout out to Casey. So I have two brothers. I have Casey and Bo. Bo's actually getting his wisdom teeth pulled today. Ouch. Ooh. Yeah. Let's well, shout out to Bo, but um, yeah. we feel for you, bud. I feel for him. Ooh. I got one taken out. Yeah. Casey does Ow. CrossFit with me. Well, he, yeah. Casey got me into CrossFit because nice. he started going. Good. and Yeah. So him and I, we actually worked out this morning together. So, so it, it sounds really like fun. amongst your whole family, you all work to uh, motivate each other and help yeah. each other get better. That's super cool. Yeah. Really cool. My it just goes to show everything's always in the household, you know, that's yeah. pretty big on it. And I think the biggest thing is, is getting into a routine. Like when I was in high school, I never had a routine. I'm sloppy. I would leave my bed unmade. My mom would yell at me to make my bed. And I'd be like, why? I'm just going to come crawl back into it at right. night. Like, I don't need to waste my time making my bed. And now it's part of my routine. Cool. So I wake up in the morning. Actually, I did a video, um, my CrossFit. The It's the newest one I think I just posted about get ready with me in the morning and my routine and what I do. And I basically wake up drink my pre-workout, make my bed, wash my face, get dressed, like find a positive quote and you're to going. get my day going. And I just start the ball rolling, you know? Yeah, Is that they, on your TikTok or your Instagram? It's on my Instagram. Oh, okay. Yeah. They always encourage us here. Like uh, Mike Gonzalez has always told me, because I had a problem showing up late for a little bit. And mm -hmm. he told me, your day starts the night before. Mm -hmm. So it's always a good concept to be ready, yeah. have a routine, you know, and just like mm -hmm. exercise everything even i don't know where i saw it but i remember somebody said that you have to literally set aside an hour for the things that are important like exercising mm -hmm. seven o'clock nothing else exists for that slot yeah. you know here's the thing like people that have family people that work all day moms especially stay-at-home moms especially because you are around your kids 24 7 you need to make time for yourself. Like yes. you have to block out time, whether that's you talking to your husband when he gets home or figuring out a way that you can distract your kids a little bit to make time for you. And even it, or you can even take them to the park or go on a walk or do something to get your body moving, your juices flowing and find right. something that you like to do, you know? And I think that that's important. And I don't think not enough people do that no it doesn't exist it's more like your phone and the tv and yeah. i say that from yeah. experience you mm -hmm. know and, and that's that how problem. i feel i'm like man i i don't think i'm living you know yeah. like i think i like i'm on this softball team now with work oh, and uh yesterday was my girlfriend's birthday so i made her food over going to the softball game oh. so i'm like i committed to that but i had this so it's yeah. like moving forward that's my commitment you know and 
Yeah, and it's all about learning how to set boundaries and, like, keeping the promises that you make to yourself. Like, if you go to bed at night and you tell yourself, I'm going to wake up at 5 in the morning and I'm going to go to CrossFit, and then your alarm goes off and you hit snooze and you don't go to CrossFit or you don't go to the gym or you don't follow through with what you promised yourself – You're starting your day off bad. Right. If you Mm -hmm. just keep your promises to yourself, no, I told myself I'm going to do this. Before you know it, it becomes a habit and it becomes a routine and it becomes a part of your life and you just start living by it, you know? When do you think that you made that type of transition or have you always been pretty... No. I... So, honestly, I think a lot of it has to do with my husband. My husband's a very positive person. That's great. And I also had a life coach before I met my husband. And my life coach, she helped me tremendously with learning how to set boundaries and channel things and learn how to deal with my emotions and not get so worked up over stuff and not letting things that I cannot control affect me. Right. Like there's a lot of things that why am I getting mad because this person is doing something that I don't agree with and it's ruining my day? That's you know? a super hard part of my life. Mm-hmm. Is uh, And even though I'm like, you know, I'm pretty individual, like I don't mind. But for some reason, I like it. My decisions weigh a lot on what opinions I get from other people. And yeah. I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, it almost feels like I'm chained up. Yeah. You know, I can't do anything. You can't. You need to learn to let go of that. Like, it's hard. Right. Trust me. Because I was very affected with how I thought people perceived me. And especially my cooking page. Like, oh, my gosh. I would be like, well, what if they don't like me? Or what if this? That's how I felt about that? this. What if I'm <laughs> cooking wrong? <laughs> yeah. What if I get a negative comment? And you know what? Oh, what's that? Oh, there's this thing. Oh, my gosh. I forget. I think it's Jocko. My husband showed me this, and his name is Jocko, and he's this Navy SEAL bad guy. Like, badass, can I say it? Yeah, you yeah. can say it. Badass guy. Ass. And he, <laughs> he has this video, and it's called Good. And he literally says, oh, you failed your test? Good. You oh, didn't lift that weight? Good. Uh-huh. Like, everything that you fail at only makes you get better, better that's you right. you know, and oh, so you're just... I'm going to sell a car today. I yeah, feel it. you do. Good. <laughs> yes, and you energy. just have, like, so much positivity in every setback. Don't dwell on it. Right. Don't sit there and get discouraged and put yourself down. Grow from it. That's Learn right. from it. How? Mm-hmm. Why did you fail at that? Do better. Come back and do 10 times better. And have know? integrity, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. I think that's where a lot of people lack is that they don't have integrity like you said keeping your promise to yourself yeah and then you get the moral hangover where you're feeling guilty for not doing what you said that you're going to do for yeah. the 15th time mm-hmm. so it's it's pretty tricky but i think that like you've mentioned it's super important to keep your promises to yourself mm-hmm. have integrity with what you're doing and be conscious of how you live your life you yeah know? positivity is everything so Definitely. find yourself somebody a life coach talk to your partner you know it sounds like you know you've developed tremendously thanks to uh mr phillips and that's amazing to know that you know your partner has helped you grow and continues helping you grow and yeah that's dope and the thing is is everybody has flaws Mm -hmm. so if you're able to look at yourself in the mirror and know what your flaws are and you're able to call yourself out on it and you're able to hold yourself accountable you will grow as a person you are your best critic you are you are but if you deflect it you won't grow you'll get worse and it's okay to ask for help it's okay to say i'm in the wrong I need to learn how to manage this. I need to know how to control this. I need to learn how to cook. I'm going to go follow cooking with Charlie's mom. Every time you go. <laughs> Everybody make sure you follow her. Too, <laughs> that's one of the whole things that we like to do is get you more followers. You yeah, know? yeah. Especially local, you know, local Absolutely. around the tri-state mm-hmm. area. Yeah. Out here is dope. But I, uh, on that note, I mean, is there anything else you want to talk about? I think we pretty much. I like. We can get her back, you know. I like the six the, months or something. Get her back on and see yeah. where she's at in her cooking. Oh gosh, oh, pressure's I'm on. Like, <laughs> I'm at a million. I don't got time for the. Yeah, I don't got time right for now. the jams. That's my no my dream is to be living off of social media income and being able to travel with my husband and eat wherever we want to eat. That's like our goal. Yeah, it's gonna <laughs> that play would out. be cool. It's gonna yeah. play out for sure. But you guys, like she said, have integrity. Be positive. Find yourself somebody to help you grow and, uh, you know, seek help if you need it. I I think majority of successful people always ask for help because it's what you need to be successful. So 
take it easy. Go follow her. We're going to make sure to provide all the links and attachments and whatever below. And uh, God bless you guys. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Peace.